Davis here, starting with basketball tonight. Yeah, usually it's Browns, right? Oh, but we're, we're switching up. things up tonight. Man. We have a basketball team All in right. this city. It's the Cleveland Cavaliers, and a week from tonight, they open their season at the Q against the Wizards. Tonight, their final preseason game hosting the Pacers. Booby Gibson sitting this one out with the concussion elbowed in practice. So the rookie big man Tyler Zeller getting the start and showing his outside touch. A little help from the rim. He had 13.7 boards. Fourth overall pick in the draft, Deion Waiter stops and pops. He had 12, 414 shooting. Now the main man here is Kyrie Irving. Drilling the triple. He had 20, but watch. No showboating. It's back to defense. Irving with the steal. All in one play, and then up top to Alonzo. G. Yeah, nicely done. G with 18, but the Cavs lose 100 to 82 and finish the preseason with a record of 3 and 4. Well, it's been an interesting ride for Mike Holmgren, brought here by Randy Lerner to be the president of the Browns and turn things around. It didn't happen. Today we heard from Holmgren, most likely for the final time in Berea. Highlights of the 45-minute talk. He said his time in Cleveland has been special, but regrets not winning. Browns are 10-29 and 29 under his leadership. He thinks the Browns are close. As for his future, Holmgren misses coaching, hinting he could do that again and would not commit to staying with the Browns for the rest of the season. But while here, it won't be a distraction. So I'm not... Hey, hold on to that parking spot. Yeah, Holmgren has taken heat from some fans and media saying he was just here for a paycheck, not fully committed. When he first started, he wasn't around enough, didn't answer to the fans when necessary. But Holmgren is bummed it's over. He wanted to see his contract through, but he gets why his time here will end. And one last thing, remember when he barked at the media last season after Colt McCoy's concussion, warning reporters not to come to him for playoff tickets? He apologized on that one. That's good, isn't it? Now on the World Series Eve, Miami fired manager Ozzie Gee and Boston introduced former Indian John Farrell as its manager. Sandy Almar and Manny Acta rumored candidates to manage in Toronto. Game one of the World Series tomorrow night in San Francisco. The Giants host the Tigers after winning the NL pennant last night. Coming back from down 3-1 to beat St. Louis, Marco Scudero making the final out was MVP of the series with 14 hits. High school football, the final regular season fever comes your way on Friday. Then and the big one on Saturday night, St. Edward versus St. Ignatius at Byers Field. 50th meeting between the schools, and it couldn't get any bigger. Both teams are 9-0. The Wildcats are ranked number one in the state. The Eagles are number two. Chuck Kyle going for his 300th career win. These two teams met last season in the playoffs. As you see, St. Ignatius winning 20-17. to And guess what? The game is sold out, but you can see it on Sports Time Ohio live. At 7 o'clock, a battle of the unbeatens. Byers Field, Sports Time Ohio again, Saturday night at 7. I cannot wait. I'm going to head out there for that one. I'm yeah, looking forward to it. I hear it's it. fantastic. On Tuesday, it's already sold out. I know. <laughs> That's like in 20 impressive. minutes, it sold out yesterday.